Alright guys, I just got home from work and I'm going to open a hard clue casket. Here we go. Ooh! Oh snap! I just got 98 defense. I'm officially 98 in all combat skills, so one more level in each of these to 99. That's pretty dope. Also made a new friend named Cup of Tea. Pretty dope username. I don't know, things are pretty going pretty good. Progress on the accounts. All right, and now I'm coming on 94 Hunter. Ta-da! I have an armadillo task, and I'm just catching some chins, and it's incredible that I'm going on 700 KC on armadillo, and I got 94 chin, or 94 chinning, 94 Hunter from catching all these chins for armadillo task. Hopefully, I'll get the skirt. What's up guys? So Jagex came out with the Kebo Solo Lands today and they came out also with two novice quests and I'm gonna go knock those out. I got home early from work today so that's pretty dope and we're gonna go knock out those quests. Uh, it also came out with the Elite Diaries and although I am able to complete the Elite Diaries for Corin with no problem, I am gonna go ahead and save that for later because I really want to finish my armor task. But let's go knock out these two quests. I think I'm about to finish the Forsaken Tower. I'm not really into these monotonous novice quests. I don't really get much from it personally. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I have to do this to get my quest cape back. But there we go, 6k coins, 500 mining, smithing, favor certificate, memoir page. Cool, and I'm gonna go do the edit quest now. Get this all done up in here. Yay, second quest done. Good stuff. Uh, now I'm gonna do some armadillo. Nice. Just got another duplicate armadillo chest plate. <laughs> Just got another one. It's my third one. What in the world is this? Three? Oh my gosh, they're 43 mil each. What is this? Why do I have three of those? I just want a skirt. Can I trade two for a skirt? Oh my gosh. Hey guys, so I basically have been working on the Corin Kebos Diaries from the new update. And I have the hard completed, I just haven't turned it in. And I'm working on the Elite. I'm able to complete everything because I have all the requirements. However, I need a Celestria Seed. And you get those from Bird Nest and things like that. And it's super rare and I've been pretty unlucky. But I'm wanting to get my Diary Cape back. So that's what I'm currently working on. But this seed is a freaking pain. But, you know, I've never done mole before and I'm finally getting some KC on mole. So I think, like, now I'm going on 40, 50 KC on mole. Um, so we're going to go ahead and check this out and see how many nests I get uh, from about an hour and I would say an hour or so killing this thing. Um, I'm using Derek's and I just rock cake down or use the locator orb from Dragon Slayer 2. So we're going to go check out what I get after I finish up this run. Okay, so now I've gotten about 50 mole kills and we're going to see how many nests this gives me. I have no idea if this is even that great. I just really want to get this seed to complete the diaries and get back to my cape. I th I've never done this before actually, so I'm going to go figure out who to talk to to trade in this mole stuff. We got a little tree over here available. We'll go check this out. Okay. I think I trade... Hmm. Turn in... Oh dear, it's been a while. I can't remember. I think it's him? Uh, yes please. Uh, I will trade mole parts. Okay. So we get like... Okay. I can only extract these in the bank. Interesting. Let's go do that. I've never truly done this before, guys. This is the setup I used, by the way. Derek's, I heard, is the best. And just to get down to low HP, it does. Ooh, look, a brand new hardcore. Um, it does use a lot of prayer potions, though. Okay, so I'm not very sure how to do this. We can extract them at a bank. Okay, we got 25 nests from that box. Let's just go ahead and put these all in the bank. Oh, wow. 
getting a lot of nests here. This is really good. We're at 50 so far. Ooh, we got a lot of nests, guys. Mole is really good. This is nuts. But basically, 71 seed nests. So if anything, it's going to come from the seeds, the celestrious seed. Oh my gosh, I didn't really realize how many nests no mole gives. Okay, and these are just regular nests. Got it. So let's go ahead and open the seed ones and hope we get a celestial and nest. Okay, nothing. Oh man. Oh, we got a mahogany seed. I'm getting a little bit sad because we only have a few nests left. Um, I may just have to be patient with this late diary to be honest with you. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh no, guys. Not happening. Shoot. Let's just hope I'll get some in the future. Alright, so for any of y'all that are curious, this tree, as you can see, is um, basically what I needed for my Elite Diary. I already checked it earlier, so basically that's all done. Check it out. I will go turn it in soon. I've done all the Elite requirements. requirements bleh, but that being said, I haven't really uh, turned it officially in yet. But that Celestria seed literally took forever guys this new update came out last thursday it is a tuesday for me because you have to wait for the tree to grow and etc etc i cannot talk today guys etc um i also have that little demi boss for um the farming guild so we're gonna check that out too okay so this demi boss is supposedly very easy. I hope I'm bringing the right setup. I'm just kind of winging it. I do know it poisons you though, so that's a very good info thing for y'all. Um, I'm also going to bring a DDS. Okay, cool. Uh, this boss is called the Hispori boss, I believe. Oh, I need a spade too. You need a spade to basically get the boss loot. Um, so it's called Hispori, and you get the seeds from farming. Uh, the seed looks like this, a Hespori seed, and basically you don't need any compost and it doesn't die, but you go down in this cave in the farming guild and, ooh, my herbs are ready. Um, you go down here and it takes about 36 hours to plant, but you plant it here. Uh, so we're going to see how this thing goes. I'm not very sure how long it's going to take. Uh, do you want to fight Hispori? Yes, let's fight this thing. Um, these are about 10 HP each. Um, I heard that this boss was pretty easy. I know you have to kill these flowers. I didn't watch a guide or anything like that. I just kind of knew that it was easy and that you had to kill the flower things and protect mage. So hopefully that will help you guys too. If you, pro anything past 75 combat, you should be fine. That being said, uh, always be careful. I also don't think this is instance. It may be, so if you die, be extremely careful because I don't want y'all to lose any of your gear. The animations are wicked cool. Okay, is this thing gonna die? Hello? Oh, I didn't kill this thing. Me. As you can see, basically when these flowers pop up, you gotta make sure that it's all Gucci and dead. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, so now you can choose to clear it. We're going to clear it. You have to have a spade in your inventory. Ooh, my goodness. Okay, so I got a dragon fruit seed and an Ada seed. I'm not very sure what an Ada seed is. It's not tradable. It's one of those new seeds that I think you plant in this patch. All right, so I just want to quickly show y'all me ooh, ooh, wrong. Nope, that's actually the right place. Rip. Uh, getting this elite diary turned in and back to my diary cape. Whenever a new update comes out, you kind of lose your diary cape until you finish the current diary. So yay, elite is all done and I don't have to use those boots or whatever. Um, we got the blessing in 50k. That's awesome. And unlimited teleports to that new mountain uh, with the new Slayer Master. We're going to go ahead and use this 50,000 XP lamp on agility because, you know, me struggling with the agility gains. 
But yeah, that is all complete again. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm collecting Cosmics. I'm a little bit over 3,000, so not that many. But the reason why is because I have all these battle staves, and it's a bunch of money. It's like 14 mil. <laughs> so I'm like trying to make all these Cosmics so I can, you know, make them the um, uncharged orbs into air orbs. And that way I will complete 96 crafting and basically... That will be a level. I hate battle staff so much, but I know it's good money, and I know I just need to do it, and I can out them all doing agility. So that's kind of what, like, I'm trying to do right now is knock that out, even though I hate making orbs. All right, so I finished all of these battle staffs. I have almost, almost exactly 2,000, but not quite. I also got 96 crafting, which is nuts. Um... So I'm really glad I got that done. Uh, when I alk all these, I'm not too sure what their total price would be. This is looking really close to 18 million. When I examine it, uh, let's see what Ruin Light says. Sometimes it's a little off though. Uh, when I examine it, it says with high alk value, it's about 18.5 million. So, wow. It's actually about 300 GP more if you high alk them versus selling them on the GE. So yeah, 18.5 million. Holy Toledo, that's much better than 1.6 mil right there. So yeah, I'll probably alk these um, while I do agility. Let's see. Yeah, hopefully I'll get an agility level from that, or if not A level, I'll be close. All right, guys, that will be the end of episode 32. I hope you enjoyed looking at uh, some of the new content that I did. Right now, I'm just kind of chilling out on my weekend. It's a Saturday night. I did some raids today. No luck. I'm at 510 KC, so that's the update on there. Um, and I'm going for 90 ruin crafting right now, so hopefully I'll be starting my next video on that level. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe for my future videos. Thanks, guys. Oh, and make sure to turn on that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Bye!